My involvement in the ground racing started just from when I was born. My father, Damien, he trains the grounds at the minute with my grandfather who would have started it all 40 or 50 years ago. So it's a long running tradition in our family. On a day to day basis, we would get up, seven o'clock, get the dogs out, feed them breakfast between half eight and nine, and they'd be ready then to start galloping them till lunchtime basically. And in between would be grooming the dogs, cleaning their teeth, all what you do with greyhounds. Like it's just a full time job, 24 7. But we love it, like we love doing it. We would groom the dogs maybe two or three times a week, especially the race. The race dogs would nearly get groomed every day of the week. People have no idea how much effort, time is put into them. Like it's not just me rubbing them here to get the shine off them. You know, it's all to do with the feeding, works from the inside out. And we brush our teeth every time we groom them, so maybe two or three times a week. You know, and we give them a bone as well just to clean their teeth. Yeah, this is what we do with every dog when we go racing. The same dog get the same treatment. We'd normally maybe have a four or five dog gallop and my dad would normally go down to the bottom. He'd let, we have like a lead dog in front, she just goes after the whistle and then he'd quickly let go maybe second, third, fourth and fifth after and I'd blow them up right to the top. It's about a 350 yard stretch and just chase the dog in front. They don't need any lure or anything to get them up in front and they come flying up. On a race day, things wouldn't change too much. We'd take him up to the field after he had his breakfast and give him maybe a lap or two laps of the field and then take him down to the kennel, give him a wee rub up and weigh him to see if he's the right weight for the race night. And then we put him back in his kennel and he'd relax there. And then when he comes to feeding time, that's when he realises that he's, he's racing because he only gets a wee, a wee small cup of food compared to normal days we get a full dish. If he's just loaded up, ready to go to the racing, he's laying in there in the middle of the van with a full bale of brown paper in with him and a padded mat. So uh, you wouldn't want to be laying on anything better yourself. Yeah, it was just a ride, pulled into Shelburne there, and they're going to get the dog out of the van and get him warmed up, ready for his trial. He's got his ear tag checked to make sure it's the right dog, and he was weighed in as well. So he's the same weight he was the last time he ran. So he's perfect weight, and uh, just now getting ready for the trial. This him just going into the traps. He loves racing. After the race, we'd give him maybe 15 or 20 minutes of a walk just to let him get his breath back and cool him down and then put him back into the van with a nice drink of water and a cover and that's him ready to go home. His, his night work's done. That myth that people say that we aren't interested in dogs that don't run well or don't run quick enough, that's all nonsense. There's a grade for every single dog and even if they're not fit to make that grade, then we've got the retired scheme there for them to find their everlasting homes. In terms of family, like the Greyhounds definitely bring you all together. It's not all about winning, but recently we had a big success. There's a dog called The Machine in the Champion Stakes, and it's a real big family moment for us. Like It's the first ever time we've won that competition. And racing, and it's Ballymac Wild, but now one dead in the store and moves off. And three, The Machine finds himself in front. Killar Icon showing big pace in second, but The Machine, good luck trying to catch this fellow. Clear off the final turn, the powerhouse left in front at the second bend. Me and my dad's there at the minute, and my granda, they're both there full time. Like, you need the help around here to make sure everything's done the way we want it. Anytime we get a win, it's a big family win. Like, it kind of means a lot more then, because you're all in it together.